Hello, I'm John David Lancaster, and I'm a hardware research engineer here at IBM Research in Yorktown Heights, New York. I specialize in system and test and bring up engineering, and today we're in our hardware bring up lab for our AI chips and cards. So the AIU stands for Artificial Intelligence Unit. It's specifically targeted at AI applications and is optimized for those applications. We are the first ones that receive our AI chips and our printed circuit board on which the AI chips reside. And we're the, really the first ones to plug them into the systems and our job is to uh, get the chips and the card in a state where we can pass it off into our software team that do some really awesome work higher levels up in the software stack. So what does that practically look like? So we have kind of our, our stack of cards here. You can see kind of the top here, we have our heat sink. Underneath here is where our AIU chip resides. You know, this is of course the, the hot spot on the card. It generates all the power, it does all the work, it does the AI computations. And then of course under here we have, you know, our memory and voltage regulators and all that kind of fun stuff. So one of the big advantages of using the AIU is because we really excel at performance per watt, right? So you have probably heard, you know, the AI revolution, right? But really like a lot of the AI hardware uses a ton of power to actually do the work that it's trying to do. And so one of the key reasons that you would use our AIU card is because of the super low power for how many inferences that you're able to do on our card. I think that there are two big buckets of AI workloads that we target. There are encoder models and there are decoder models. Encoders involves encoding information into smaller pieces, right? So you can imagine, right, is this transaction fraud? No, it is not fraud. Yes, it is fraud. And then there's the second bucket, right? Decoder models, right? This is generative AI that you think about, right? So, you know, write me a Python script that prints hello world to the screen or find me all the prime numbers from zero to 100. Both of these examples, the AIU fundamentally excels at. So how do we validate that we're actually able, you know, what power are we operating at, right? And what inferences, you know, how many inferences are we doing at what power budget are we ultimately is the question, right, that we're trying to validate here. I actually have a demo of what it looks like for us to get a power grab of, of the card. Uh, so I'll show you an example. Hopefully that doesn't break it. Cool, so you can see here that, you know, actually like the, the model running on the card and the power ultimately going into the card. So this is a view of what the power looks like outside of our AIU card, right? And so actually monitoring the, the voltage rails going in that the entire card is using. And it's really cool because this information can actually be mapped to the actual instructions and the layers that are being executed in each of the models and can go back into uh, our compiler team, right? To say like, hey, this is really what the power profile looks like and how much power we're using from a holistic standpoint on the card. So I think one of the coolest things about being in this lab is that you get to run on the cards that you're physically touching and can see. You know, you really get a view of the overall, you know, view of the technology stack, right? I think in a lot of ways when you run on one of our cards, like in a data center, right? It's like, you know, you're clicking a button and you don't really like interact with the physical hardware. And so I think it's really cool to be in here and, you know, you know, physically unplugging cards, plugging them into other slots, you know, saying like, I click this button and it runs on that card. And the reason I know that is because I can see the power profile from my oscilloscope, um, things like that, right? Probing different signals on the card, different, you know, powers of different regulators, all of that fun stuff. It's really cool to see that entire view. So if you're interested in learning more, subscribe to the channel.